Let me show you how frame by frame animations inside of Figma can speed up your UX motion workflow. Let's dive in. When I say frame by frame animation, as a motion designer, you might be thinking of something like this, drawing every single little bit of the animation frame by frame and playing it back at a certain frame rate to get an idea of what the motion is going to be like. Or maybe even something like this, where we're drawing every single frame and position of the character inside of like a character animation. And when we look at this reference, in many ways, this is easier to produce than going into After Effects or any other animation program and rigging up an entire character, designing the character, doing the different poses and walking states and all of those sorts of things. It's actually time to completion. This might be easier to get an idea across rather than going into After Effects and doing all those other things. So how can we take the idea here and the speed that we have here doing frame by frame animations in a very lo-fi sketchy way? How could we actually take that and apply it to the UX motion workflow so that we're able to produce ideas very quickly, getting approval, getting feedback, shifting our direction very quickly rather than going through the entire Figma to After Effects to GIF process and get to something better quicker. So the first way I'll show you is with this very lo-fi mock-up right here inside of Figma. The idea here is this is screen A, this is what we start with, this is screen B, this is where we're landing. And maybe this is like a loading type of animation where this is, we have nothing on the screen at first and as everything loads, we finally get all of our options here on the screen. We have maybe this navigation bar here on the bottom. And we want to communicate, hey, how are these things actually going to appear on screen? Yeah, they could just instantaneously appear, but we can make the story unfold a little bit better than that. So I actually want all of these individual elements to kind of like cascade down, maybe in a, like a zooming transparent effect. And by default, we can't really do that in Figma because we can't time things that detailed. We could copy all this, put it into After Effects, animate everything. Maybe it would take us like five to 20 minutes to make it feel pretty good. But we don't need to have perfect motion on this. We just need to get the idea across. So how can we do that very quickly here inside of Figma? So if you know this is where we're starting, this is where we're ending. Let's go ahead and move this all the way over here. And let's just start work our way. We can either go from the starting screen all the way to the end or the ending screen all the way to the start. For this one, I'm going to start with the ending screen. And I know that this is going to be the last one that we want on screen. So let me quickly do this frame by frame. Do this. Do this, do this, do this, do this, do this. I already have this laid out. So we have our end screen and our first screen. And you can see that frame by frame, I'm just changing what do we see. So slowly, it's building on all of the elements. Maybe there's a certain level of easing here and some momentum and things like that. But it just gets the idea of cross of what it could potentially look like. I could just look at it right here frame by frame and kind of get an idea of what the motion is going to be. Or I could actually go into presentation mode and just key through and get an idea of what that motion is going to look like. And say I actually need to present this to someone else or share this with someone else to get some feedback on of just like, hey, this is the idea of like generally where I want the motion to go. I could just quickly take a screen capture of this, turn it into a GIF and send it off. And so something that may have taken me 10 to 15 minutes inside of After Effects has taken me only a minute here inside of Figma to put together. So let's actually walk through how we would do something like this. So here I have a higher fidelity visuals, but we're still going to have this kind of lo-fi frame by frame animation inside of Figma. Something like this might be pretty complex to take into After Effects to create all of these gestures to uh, basically selecting this picture and throwing it in the garbage and having everything reflow. So let's go ahead and run through this frame by frame and see how we might make this work. Let's go ahead and create one of these things where we can know where we are actually tapping. And so we can put this right here inside of the frame and we're gonna show that we are tapping on this or we're gonna do like a tap and hold. And so maybe we'll even uh, scale this up to show a little hold. We'll go forward and we'll now show that this is kind of lifting up. Maybe it's even moving over a little bit. Fingers kind of staying in place. We're gonna kind of move it to the center here. And we can also see that we have this like scrim coming up covering the background. So let's actually make sure that we have that here. All right, and here's our scrim. Let's make sure that's behind that image. And while we're holding on to this, we can see the motion is already starting to come together. As we're holding on to this, we see the scrim and the background kind of the opacity is fading in. And we also need this little trash icon to appear as well. So let's go ahead and copy that. And maybe this just does a nice, we can use these static screens as like our key states or screens that we're trying to get to. So we can animate from one to two, two to three, three to four, just as a way to break apart our motion flow frame by frame a little bit easier. 
And so we already have from one to two down, we're going to go from here, all the way to here. And this is where we start seeing that the image should shrink a little bit. And maybe even over here, so we can show a little bit of shrinkage, even more so Let's move it all the way. And then we're basically going to trash it. And then from here, so we are made it to this next key screen. And then so now we need to transition from here to here. So when we actually let go, this image is going to disappear, the scrim and the trash can is going to disappear. And then we're going to reflow all of these images back to this state. So to make it a little easier, we can go ahead and ungroup that just to move some things over. And so everything should be sliding over on its end. Let's make sure that we actually bring these up at the same time. Maybe we'll delete those. So what we need to do is make sure that our deleting of the image transitions off nicely. So let's make sure that we have all this. Paste it here. Maybe the finger is going to go away. This image is going to shrink. The scrim is going to start fading away. We'll do 50. And we'll copy these things and so we'll go to 15. And this process does create a ton of artboards, but artboards are free, so use as many as you need. And as we're actually just sliding through here, you can start to see, get an idea of the motion, get an idea of the interaction of how things reflow, how you drag, how you hold, all those sorts of things. And if we even want to pause a little bit more on this hold moment, we can duplicate this frame a few more times. So that we really get an idea that we're we're holding right here. And so what we could do now is just go into presentation mode. And all we need to do is just hold our keyboard and we can see this animation flow. And what we can do is just simply get a screen capture software, capture the screen, convert it to a GIF, and share this out. And so within just a few minutes, I'm able to create a pretty complex animation showing the interaction, showing how things should cascade and animate along with each other just to get a simple idea out. And so this can save a lot of time. I didn't have to go into After Effects, parent all these things together, import everything from Figma. I didn't have to do any of that. And now I can just share this, get a lot of feedback and shift my direction. And until I need a spec or a high quality piece of motion, I can stay in this space and getting to better ideas that benefit the product and the user experience. And that's how you speed up your UX motion workflow with frame-by-frame -frame animations inside of Figma. Catch y'all next time.